Hi, we recently got a question from one of our Kinesic Mouse users about how to configure and set up the click and drag function. I will try to answer this in this little short tutorial video. So first what I'm going to do is to show you the signal that I'm actually using for this click and drag. And in this example I will take the lips pucker. So let's go to settings, signal preferences scroll down to the lips and there we have our lips pucker signal. I've already set it up and I will check the visual visualize mark. So when I'm performing this action now, you can see it down here in the signal monitor. So actually in the kinesic mouse we have three options uh, to perform a click and drag. Uh, let's start with the first one. So let's go to settings mouse preferences, mouse buttons. Make sure that you have checked to enable the mouse buttons. And here we have our click and drag. So let's choose the lips pucker signal. And that's it. That's all we have to do for performing a click and drag. The first method works uh, when I'm performing the facial expression that I have assigned to the click and drag. I have to hold it to actually hold, hold down the mouse button. I will show you this in this example where I click and drag one of the pictures uh, to this new folder. So I hit Alt 1 to give control to the kinesic mouse and let's see how I can click and drag this picture to the new folder. Alt 1 again uh, to disable the kinetic mouse. So you have seen I have to hold the expression while I'm dragging the item. So if I'm not that confident with the lips packing or I have to do it uh, for a longer way, there is actually a second option where you have to perform the facial expression twice. One time uh, to hold down the mouse button and the second time to release it. If you want this, you can go to settings, mouse preferences and set the split uh, check mark here at the click and drag. So what this will do is I have to perform the lips packing twice. Once to select the item and hold it down and another time to release the mouse button and let go of the dragging function. So again, I will show you this, how this will work. Alt 1 to give control to the kinetic mouse. So right now I have selected the item and I will go to the new folder and perform the lips packing again and it is dropped into the folder. So you've seen the difference. I have to make this uh, signal twice uh, to click and drag. Now there's a third option. If you're really confident with your left click, for example, you can also use the split function to perform a, a click and drag. So let me show you how this will work. So go to mouse preferences and we don't actually use this click and drag function. We use our left click at the bottom here and we will also to to perform uh, a click and drag, we also have to set the split function. So to do a left click, uh, you can now perform the expression. For me, it's mouth smile left. And you can hold this expression and also the mouse button will be held down um, for clicking and dragging. But uh, the downside to this is uh, that your normal left click will also have uh, this holding down of the mouse button while you perform this expression. So if you have a good signal right here and you are confident with your left click, you can also use the split here uh, to perform the click and drag. So let me show you how this will work. Again, close it and hit Alt 1 and give control to the kinesic mouse.
So you saw that there are three methods to perform a click and drag. I hope all your questions are answered and thanks for watching this video.